Hello Pisces, thank you for joining me. So today we're going to take a look at who is thinking about you right now and why. Also please do bear in mind that it's not necessarily going to be a romantic situation, okay? Although for some of you, yes, it absolutely can be, okay? So again, with it being general read, you just have to take it as it resonates, okay? Right, so who is thinking about our Pisces collective, please? Oh, okay, that was a bit heavy. Uh, can we have one more, please? Who's thinking about our Pisces and why? Okay, right, so we'll come back to that one in a minute. Uh, right, so you've got Saturn, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You've got Neptune, which is your own planet, so you could be dealing with another Pisces. And you've got Venus, so that is going to be Taurus or Libra. Okay, uh, so the situation as it stands, now it's really odd because we've been seeing these three cards have been coming out for basically everybody Pisces, okay, um, like this exact three. So we see that there is um, a certain amount of freedom to the restrictions that, that you've currently been experiencing, okay? So, for example, if someone has been silent with you, then they're going to be breaking their silence, okay? Um, if someone hasn't been very uh, warm or receptive with you, then you're seeing a turnaround to, to that energy, okay? And then you've got Cancer that's coming out. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. And at the bottom of the deck is Jupiter. Uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So again, with that Jupiter, that, that's all about expansion, okay? And it really does play into that word that I've already used about uh, freedom. Um with Jupiter, of course, is optimism, and your first card out was Saturn, which is the complete opposite, which is pessimism. So you see how these two are actually bookending the rest of this energy, right? First card out, last card out. Um, so again, it really does uh, play in to that energy that I'm feeling for you, Pisces, where there is a huge turnaround to, to these uh, restrictions, to this more sort of, um, I want to say strict energy, and then you're entering into this freedom energy, okay, this expansion energy. So I feel out of all of the signs, Pisces, you've probably been really uh, affected by what's been going on with all the planets being in like retrograde and stuff. Um, you've probably felt really frustrated through all of those uh, restrictions and I want to say standstill type energy. You know, may maybe your love life has felt like it's been on a bit of a standstill for a while. And that's what you see changing up here. OK, and you've definitely got love coming in. Um, you've definitely got someone in your energy who is currently... Uh, daydreaming as well about you with that Neptune influence being there. Okay, that's all about imagination, dreams, uh, psychic experiences, mysticism, you know, all that good stuff. All that good stuff that, that you associate with anyway. Right, so what's, uh, what's going on for Pisces? Who's thinking? Well, okay, the Seven of Coins. Who's thinking about Pisces and why? Who's thinking about Pisces? Um, someone's saying, Pisces, that you're very resourceful um, and that they're not going to be able to hide anything from you because you'll see through that straight away. You've also got the Nine of Wands, the Fool, the Sun, the Nine of Coins, the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. At the bottom of that deck is Temperance, again, with the Sagittarius energy. You've also got Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, um, that's joining the party as well. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. So the first thing worth mentioning is the person who's currently thinking of you right now, Pisces, is someone who is single. Okay. Um, this individual is very, very interested in you. Let me tell you. Um, 
But they also strike me as someone who is quite clever in their own way as well, okay? Because they're saying, I, I need to get the timing of this right. I need to be patient. I need to move slow, right? You've got the Nine of Swords under there. So this person, now either they have been anxious or they've picked up on you um, being anxious. If you felt anxious recently, then they've, they've picked that up, okay? Um, they're going to be asking if you're okay as well. Can you clarify this temperance, please, for Pisces? The person who's thinking of Pisces right now. And clarify, thank you, the Seven of Swords. Okay, what's the intent of this Seven of Swords, please, for the person who's thinking of Pisces? What is the intent? I'm here in White Lie. What's the intent of this Seven of Swords? Thank you. Okay, the Seven of Coins in reverse is the intent of the Seven of Swords. Okay, so um, I don't know if this has already happened, Pisces, or if you're being prepped for this happening, but it's likely uh, that this person either recently has or is about to uh, tell you some kind of white lie here, okay? Um, and they're saying, no, I wasn't waiting I wasn't waiting, when in actual fact, they are waiting, okay? This does feel like someone is waiting for you, but they're putting on, um, they're, they're putting on this thing where they're not waiting for you when they actually are. Um, okay, that's interesting. So that goes along with the nervousness that was coming out with the Nine of Swords, okay? What's going on with the Seven of Coins? And the Nine of Wands here, please, for this person who's thinking about Pisces. I'm feeling a very stubborn person in your energy here, Pisces. Really stubborn. I think they're reversed, yeah. The Queen of Cups reversed and the Four of Wands reversed. I don't know if you're currently going through something here, Pisces, where there's a bit of a, a break a breakup or a separation that's going on in your energy um it could it could be you're currently going through a separation or a breakup with someone or someone who's close to you could be going through this okay normally this kind of energy is that of someone who is getting divorced okay so again you're just gonna have to take it as it resonates with it being a general read okay it, it's gonna be impossible to get the specifics on a general read because uh, it's the overall energies. Um, it could also be the person who's thinking of you right now could be the one that's going through this divorce or split or separation, right? Um, that Nine of Wands for me is a little bit strange. What's going on with the Nine of Wands, please, for the person who's currently thinking of Pisces? Thank you. A page of wands. Yeah, okay, so that's why it's a little bit strange. Um, I was still getting a lot of resistance with that Nine of Wands. Normally, the Nine of Wands is someone who's going to stand their ground. It's someone who is going to be dependable and reliable. Uh, someone who is going to fight for something, right? But when I was looking at that Nine of Wands, I was getting a really rigid, um, stiff type of vibe off of that. And the reason behind it is, whoever it is that's going through a split or a divorce, there could actually be kids involved, okay? Uh, which is complicating things. It, it, it's made the situation really, really difficult for someone. Clarify the fool. Okay, fool to the king cups. Can clarify the sun for the person who's currently thinking of Pisces. Reasons behind why they're thinking of Pisces. The ace of swords in reverse. I feel that this person actually got involved with another person that they don't love, Pisces. Okay. Um, And again, it, I'm getting this really heavy energy off of this individual. It's like they're trying to remain hopeful, 
in the situation. They're, they're trying to remain um, optimistic, but there, there's something that's going on with this person's energy that I feel they, they haven't been completely truthful to you, Pisces, okay? Um, they, they might have painted a picture to you that, um, that this is no big deal, you know, it, it's, it's no big thing, when in actual fact, um, what they're going through, they've only told you a fraction of what's actually going on with them Pisces okay so we do see that this person is thinking of you heavy and they're saying I need to tell Pisces the truth um, I need to tell Pisces everything that's been going on here behind the scenes I, I need to let Pisces in a lot more okay um, again especially with that fool it's like taking that risk taking that gamble okay um, that this person is pretty certain that you're going to understand where it is that they're coming from and their reasons behind telling you this quote unquote white lie. Okay. Um, they're, they're pretty certain that you'll understand. So I would say with this one, if you're resonating with this energy and you know who this person is, I would say, give this one some time. Okay. Temperance being the overall energy. Um, because with the sun being here and the ace of swords in reverse it's only a matter of time until the whole truth comes out of this person okay it's just a matter of time and clarify the nine of coins thank you the star in reverse okay star in reverse that's someone who uh feels like they were going they, they were going in the wrong direction. They, they took a wrong turn. I think they're using a metaphor here, Pisces. Okay. This person um, is saying, look, I'm, I'm, I'm made a mistake. I chose wrong. Or they, they could be admitting that they've actually done something here that, that was wrong. Okay. Again, just take it as it resonates. But the star in reverse can indicate depression setting in. Okay, can you clarify this energy for Pisces person, the person who's thinking of Pisces? Ooh, that was really heavy. Do you see what I mean with this energy, Pisces? It feels really, really heavy. It, it's ridiculous how heavy it feels, actually. Uh, the six of coins to the two of coins to the three of cups. Yeah, the, there was a third element um, within this situation for certain. Um, this person's saying now, though, that they have made a decision, they've made a clear decision. They're saying that they're trying to regulate their emotions, even though it's difficult because of this uh, depression. And they're, they're still trying to hold on to hope, and they're still trying to um, see the bright side, basically. But again, I, I definitely feel, Pisces, that this person has got a lot to sort out, especially with the seven of wands and the ten of wands being here, okay? Th this is in their actions. This is what they're going to do. Um, so we see, first of all, that they're, they're fighting someone. I don't feel that they're fighting you, Pisces, okay? I feel that they're fighting this third energy, that this other person that they have been dealing with up until now, okay? Um, they definitely tried to avoid it okay they tried to avoid something getting to this extreme i'm hearing um so i don't know may maybe they have to fight this person in court or something to get access to their child if there's a child involved okay uh, but they're, they're definitely at the moment um very preoccupied okay but that doesn't mean to say that you're very far from their thoughts because you're you're definitely in this person's thoughts all right um it's just really shitty timing right now they're saying um because right now they, they've legit got their hands full okay um they again they're, they're trying not to sink under the weight of that depression and they're depressed because of all this chaos basically that's going on in their lives especially with that ten of wands ten of wands is a heavy burden okay um they're saying that they don't want to get you involved with this situation pisces okay they, they don't want to drag you under clarify the seven of wands to the ten of wands please for the person who's thinking of 
Thank you. Yeah, see, two of cups, justice. Exactly, exactly. Um, so they, they are very likely, as I said, taking someone through the justice system. And they're saying that once that's all been dealt with, and they, they don't know how long this is going to take because it's a ten of wands, okay? Um, but obviously they're, they're hoping that it's going to be reasonably quick, but they can't guarantee that either, Pisces, okay? Uh, but they are saying that they are going to do right by you with that two of cups, okay? Th this person definitely does want to be in a uh, relationship or a union with you, okay, Pisces? Interesting energy. Um, at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. I feel that that's a bit of a fantasy for them. <laughs> they they kind of fantasize about just dropping everything and running in your direction. But they're also saying that that would be um, very irresponsible. Yeah, see, there you go with the Fool under there and the Nine of Coins and the Eight of Coins and then the Queen of Swords. It's like, yeah, I have to deal with this Queen of Swords energy first before. I can have this brand new beginning with my Pisces. They definitely, I mean, it is someone who is serious about you, okay? Nine of coins, eight of coins. Um, they're, they're trying to line up their ducks, they're saying, to ensure that you two have got a really strong future together, okay? But if they had things their way, then they would absolutely drop everything, all right? But at the moment, they're definitely having to play by someone else's rules, unfortunately. And that is why you're getting that really rigid, heavy, dense energy, okay? Because it's like the reality of a situation, Saturn, and then their fantasy and what they want to do, Neptune, okay? But you are seeing some kind of growth and some kind of progress to this situation, though, Pisces. Because remember that uh, Jupiter was the overall energy from that particular deck. Yeah, there you go. See, child. Some, someone is dealing with a situation that involves a child. Clouds. They don't, they don't know what's going to happen. It's like they're using that metaphor it's like a big black cloud that's following me everywhere and and they can't outrun it you know they, they just have to weather the storm they're saying okay mountain in the reverse position that's actually a really good sign okay now traditionally you don't really read lenormand in reverse okay um but i like to take the additional messages and information that, that spirit gives um when when you pay close attention you really can get extra extra messages so at the moment pisces this is a bit of a challenge in time but spirit's telling you because it came out in reverse that these challenging times are not going to last forever okay they're saying give this one six months all right like i said when you're reading tarot you have to pay super close attention because you're getting subtle messages all the time give this one six months and things this challenging time you're going to be able to put behind you with your person or whoever this person is that that showed themselves in your tower read okay at the bottom of the deck is man so there's a masculine energy that is currently going through this situation it is a masculine energy not necessarily a man just someone who is in their masculine energy um who is thinking of you heavily and who, who is wanting to be with you okay right what else for pisces please what else for pisces oh Someone's got really unusual looking eyes. They've either got an unusual shape to their eyes or an unusual color or a combination of both. Yeah, you are the first person to make me feel this way. So that's messages from your person. Twin flame energy. So some of you, not all of you, are going to identify with this uh, with this person's energy as them being your twin flame counterpart. 
Okay. Again, that's not going to resonate for absolutely all of you. Okay. What else for Pisces, please? What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Please don't move on. So this person is asking for, for your patience. They don't want you to move on. And I dream of you. Yeah, there's that Neptunian influence. They're seeing you in their subconscious constantly. Under there, I don't know what I want. That could well be your energy. That could well be you saying, I don't know if I want to wait. Which is fair enough. What else for Pisces, please? What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Oh, <laughs> just about dropping all the cards here. Okay, those ones want to come out. What else for Pisces, please? Thank you. Okay, whole bunch on the top. Right, so you've got initial M, affectionate, uh, hair, initial N, mouth, <laughs> sexy, short, D, R, H, and wealthy. Okay. I do feel that this individual is wealthy and I do feel that they were quite possibly used for their wealth. And that's the person that they're currently going through the justice system with. Okay. Um, someone could have short hair or is short in stature. This person loves your hair. They say that you're very affectionate and <laughs> you've got a sexy mouth. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm also hearing as well that someone might have a little bit of a potty mouth, but this person actually finds that a turn on. <laughs> okay. Um, whatever. If it resonates, it resonates. Uh, but yeah, that is your reading there, Pisces. I just genuinely hope that that has helped someone out. If it has helped you out, then can you please let me know by dropping a cheeky wee like on the video. That's going to help to keep you engaged with the channel, but it'll also help to push out the message to others who are needing to hear it as well, okay? If you feel that you need a personal reading, then they are available on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.